Hey, what's up my BGA crew? Welcome back to my channel. So today, you guys, I'm super excited because I'm gonna be eating some delicious bone marrow with some crusty bread. We got some romaine lettuce and cilantro here. And also, for the first time, I am going to be trying these uh, habanero lime uh, fire noodle uh, spring rolls. I'm super, super excited. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started because I am still wow it. Father, I ask that you bless this meal in the hands I prepared it. May you provide for those going without. Heal, bless, protect, and provide for all of my BGA crew and everyone watching. In your precious heavenly name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Oh my God. All right. I'm super like all over the place. <laughs> this is what comes with the territory when you cook. Uh, it's literally crazy. Oh, but finally sitting down to relax. And uh, I know you guys are going to ask, what am I drinking? From the Dallas Stout, I got these uh, Welch's grape juice. Sugar-free. So bomb. Anyways, you guys, you know what? I think I'm going to start with one of these spring rolls. My mouth is just salivating so bad. And I got cilantro up in here. So let's go ahead and go. Mmm. 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 Whoa. Ooh, that's hot. Wow. This is the new habalero. Habalero? <laughs> ah. These are the new habanero lime Samyang noodles. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. They're so good. My cousin, La Gordy Seeds, put me on these. Ooh. That girl has no reaction to this spice. Mmm. All right, I have been craving <clears throat> bone marrow for so long. Look at that, oh, look at that juicy. Oh. Mmm. Right, let's go ahead. Wow. Mmm. Oh my goodness, look at that, you guys. It literally looks like a scallop. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna smear this one on the bread. I just wanna take it all like that. Let me, let me get some chili, I'll be right back. I'm back and I'm gonna put a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt. And I'm gonna do a little drizzle of sriracha. I hope you guys are ready for this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. I can't. I just can't. That is amazing. I ended up putting these in the air fryer for an hour. Oh my gosh, this is outstanding. Mm. 
I went ahead and tossed them in a little bit of sriracha, fish sauce, sesame oil, and a little bit of gojujan, I think it's what it's called. Let me tell you, perfect. A little bit of salt. And then, oh, you know what? I wanna smear this one. Let me smear this one just a little bit. You know what? That's not gonna work. We ain't smearing nothing. All right, we're just gonna put a little sriracha on there. Mmm. Mmm. So fatty and delicious. Mm. Mm. Wow. Wow. Oh. So rich and delicious. Very buttery, very creamy. Mm. Oh my God, these noodles are so good. Let me know down below, have you guys tried the new habanero lime? Mm. On to the next baby. I wanna do this fat one right here. Oh my gosh. <coughs> I'm scared. Oh wow. It is oh my god, this is good. Oh. Lord Jesus. Oh my goodness. Okay, looks are deceiving. It's not as big as it looked. Okay. All right, never mind. This little nugget of goodness is actually smaller than the last ones. Okay. Oh, oh my God. I got it up my nose. Here we go. You guys do not even need to butter this bread. If you're gonna make this, don't even butter the bread because that will be like overload. This is so buttery. It is insane. Absolutely insane. Here we go. It's so jiggly. The minute the minute that it that you just smush it with your tongue, it just disintegrates. For those of you that have never had it, I would compare it to like beef fat. So if you like fatty, like fatty beef, that is what that tastes like. Mm. I also love these little um, fried tempura seaweed. I thought these would be perfect with this. 
<clears throat> to add some crunch. So they're battered with sea, um, tempura on one side and then that's the seaweed. Mm. Oh my God. These are normally like three, four dollars at the Asian market. And I found these for a dollar at the 99 cent only. Oh my God. Are y'all thinking what I'm thinking? Mm-hmm. Let's put some bone marrow on one of these. Oh, and I found the perfect piece. He tried to hide from us. There we go. Right there, baby. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. I just slurp it. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. Wow. I know I haven't really been posting <clears throat> like I used to, but you know, with the weather change, I'm assuming it's the weather change and the holidays. It's just taking a toll. I mean, again, I'm not trying to be negative or anything, but it just takes a toll on you mentally you know knowing that this is going to be the first thanksgiving christmas new year now my sister's not going to be here and um she's very heartbreaking you know i had a dream about her and not necessarily she wasn't in my dream but it was me and her boyfriend and we were looking for her and i feel like we were like at a carnival at one point and then we were like in an abandoned house, just different places. And I remember me and him were looking for her and I couldn't find my sister. I don't dream about her often, but when I do, it's like, it's just sad, you know, I haven't, I haven't been on my Instagram live streams lately. My, it's been like three nights. <sighs> I've just been going through it. I've been sleeping a lot, like unbelievable. I didn't know I was capable, like the human body was capable to sleep so much. But um, I wake up in such a funk, like I don't wanna get up and do anything or even eat. It's crazy, like it took every ounce of energy in my body to get up and do this. This video was supposed to, it's already what? I don't know, like, 8 or 9 p.m. at night and I was supposed to do this video at like 11 a.m. 12 noon I, I didn't do it I don't know it's just been tough I know I'm not the only one I know so many other people are going through this It's just hard. It's hard to get your ma your mind out of that place, you know. Mm. 
But here I am, struggling. I mean, it's a struggle, but I don't want to say struggling. I don't want to be negative. I don't want to use negative words to describe this. I'll just say it's challenging, but I'm here. And like I said, I know I'm not the only one. So many people go through this around this time, this season, you know, missing their loved ones. My heart goes out to each and every one of you that has lost your family members and, you know, they're not going to be here this holiday season. But just know they're here with us in spirit. They may not be with us here in person, but they're here with us in spirit. Look at that. Mm. Okay, let's get this. Mm. Mm. That little sprinkle of salt does that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. And when you're eating it, you definitely need some freshness. Because it's super heavy, like greasy. Mmm. Okay, I think that's enough for me, guys. Mm. I got one, one, two, three, four, five, six. I had six, I have three more. I'm gonna heat those up tomorrow. I know that's a little short video, but I just wanted to come on here and say that I love you guys. Happy holidays. If you guys celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you guys have a beautiful time with your family. Be thankful for what you have, who you have, and you know, who you are surrounded by. Be thankful. Be thankful that you still have those that you love so much and hold so near and dear to your heart. Cherish them, you guys. I know sometimes it's easy for us to take things for granted, especially people for granted, because we see them every day and we think, we don't live our lives day to day thinking that people, uh, you know, can one day be gone. We, you know, we sometimes just think people are invincible, you know? That's our nature to think like, oh, you know, we're gonna be here forever. But that's not the case, that's not true. You can be here today, gone tomorrow. So cherish those that you love and hug them, kiss them, show them you love them, tell them you love them, and just make memories. I really wish, like, oh my God, I don't want to get emotional, but I really wish that I could have my sister one last time. And I wish I could spend another Thanksgiving with her another Christmas, another new year. I wish I could do it all over again. I live with so many regrets. I'm sorry. You guys have been in a really dark place lately. I've been in a really, really dark place. I'm sorry. That's why I haven't posted videos because I don't want to put this negative energy out. But just know that, uh, we need to cherish those that we love so much because I don't want you guys to live with the same regrets that I'm living with. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm really trying to fight these tears back. I just wish I could serve my sister a Thanksgiving plate and break bread with her one more time. I'm sorry. Uh, 
I'm sorry guys. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I hope I didn't ruin this video. I just, uh, I'm really struggling to manage or control my emotions lately. I've been sleeping a lot and uh, I've been really down. These holidays are gonna suck. It's not gonna be cheerful or joyful for me this year, but I hope your guys' holidays are amazing and you guys have a fantastic time with your family. All right, you guys. I'm, so, I'm really so sorry that you guys had to see this. But um, happy holidays. I love you guys. God bless. And I will see you guys in the next mukbang. Besitos.